Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. The title of our project is Horizontal Aggregation in SQL to Prepare Dataset for Data Mining Analysis. We have extracted this title from the domain Data Mining. And the main concept of this project is to make the queries optimized. So here we are using uh, complex SQL queries uh, for joining tables and aggregation columns. You are making it as optimized. So in order to optimize these queries, we use we propose three fundamental methods to evaluate horizontal aggregations. So the first method is SPJ based on standard relational algebra operators. And the second one is pivot, uh, which is offered by some DBMS. And the third one is case exploiting the programming case construct. So let us see some brief explanation in this data flow diagram. So in order to make our process easier, so we have split our process into various levels. Uh, here up to four levels it's level 0 level 1 level 2 and level 3 so in level 1 level 0 and level 2 we have used some basic operations so in this level zero, we have start here after that we have selected our data set and then extraction once we extract that it will be uh, saved into the database called name as aggregation so after we have saved we have used some dml commands so dml commands which is our select process insert process update process and delete process so we can also add data by through data set also we can add manually through this dml commands so these are all the operation run here in level 0 so while we are going to level 1 so we, uh, we are retrieving data from the data set so we are applied here aggregation operations so this is a this is a basic aggregate operation this is minimum maximum average some count so these are these are the process are all the aggregation operation so by using this application operation here we have applied horizontal aggregation which it covers under group by process and order by process so this is this group by process will group all the data and will order the data so this level 0 and level 1 are all the basic common we have used in the existing so in this proposed we are using the some optimized queries so from this aggregation we, uh, here uh, what we are doing is the main operations are SPG operation case and pivot so in this SPG operation we are using the inner join process and the outer join processes in this case we are using the case operation that is uh, it means with either this case or other that case and pivoting here we are pivoting the rows we are we, we are using the rows as a columns so these are all the main operations in this horizontal query in this pivoting rows you are the horizontal column into the horizontal rows so after all this process we are doing some analysis in this level 3 in this analysis part so we are doing some performance analysis and show the results for this SPJ case and pivot so let us see a small demo here so this is our project horizontal aggregation in SQL so this is our home page we have developed it in uh, sb.net so these are all our modules the first one is the data set extraction and then aggregate function aggregate operations spj queries pivot queries case queries and the final stage is the analysis these are all our modules the first step is the extraction here we are going to extract our data set so we have predefined data set here we have used own data set which is as supermarket details that sales report details here so we are going to choose the data set so and then click upload so now the data are uploaded we can add, feed the data through this upload also we can also add the data manually by using the data so these are all our options to insert the queries here we also we can select the data also we can insert data update data and delete data First we are going to insert a new data for that we are entering our store ID as 5 and 
so we are providing our date on month then year so week item name so rate quantity to the total amount so now the values are inserted successfully by like this way we can uh, select our data update our data and delete our data through this extraction process so these are our, this are this will cover under the level 0 so now we are moving into the level 1 so which is the aggregate function so this is the common aggregate function which is count maximum minimum sum and average so these are all the aggregate function common aggregate functions so first I am going to count take a count so these are the total count from the data set see, see the total count of store ID 1 is record count is 36 and that is 36 for this store ID 5 is 5 so for minimum function is here it takes the minimum item name and this rate also it takes the maximum function for store id 1 2 3 and 5 and also sum of the functions total amount see the total amount for the stores and also an average calculate this average amount so these are all the basics in aggregate functions so by using this aggregate grid we are going to do some uh, operations so these are all the aggregate functions operation horizontal aggregations here we are going to calculate our year sales so this is our year sales for store id it groups the year by 2001 2, 3 like that there will be it will be unique so on the week sales so all are unique unique here there will be no repetition so all are grouped by group by query by using this aggregate function so also we can see the month sales also the total sales so these are all the aggregate functions with horizontal aggregation so these are the up to this we have covered level 1 now we are moving into the level 2 which is SPJ queries so this is our left outer join here so here we, uh, we have another one table as a employee table so from this we are retrieving the data for us left outer join and this is our right, right outer join so by using that employee table here we, we have used the right outer join also inner joins So these are all our SPJ queries. So next we are going to see the pivot query. So this is our original data here. Serial number, store ID, date, month, year. This is our pivoted query. Here we have pivot this year to this one three like this. Here we have we have take pivot as this year column and make it as horizontal row. So by using this pivot query we bring like this column into row and we have added the datas group this datas 
So next we are going to see the case. So here uh, we here I have used uh, two cases one for sale on another is for not for sale so for some items I have write the condition as not for sale on some items I have written other sale items so these are all will cover under the level 2 operations these are all our optimized query these SPJ queries pivot in this case are all our optimized queries the final step is this analysis part so we have finally analysis the accuracy so it shows the accuracy level of our states so the case query accuracy and the SPG accuracy and the pivot is accuracy so these are all our optimized query using here So finally we make the queries are all optimized. So thank you.